What's shaking guys? It's Feldy bringing you another Clash of Clans video and today we are in CWL day four. We won again. All right, so I gotta admit Crystal League 2 is a little... It seems a little easy for us. I don't know why. Um, even though we've had some crappy attacks and even though we've had some crappy attacks against us, I just feel our whole clan as a whole is so much better than Crystal League 2. Maybe Crystal League 1 will be a little bit more challenging, but um, it's nothing against the clans that we're going up against, but you can see they didn't even use five of their attacks and we still won. Now, I have uh, an attack style that I really wanted to actually get you guys some info on because uh, for me myself, I didn't know this until I did this. So I got a one star. Yeah, a one star. It wasn't a 99% one star, luckily, but let me just pause it real quick. Here was my breakdown. I'm going to drop the siege machine over here on the left. I'm going to place some bat spells over here by the eagle. I'm going to place some bat spells over here by the clan castle and uh, wizard or the um, expo. And then I was going to place the remaining uh, bat spells on this inferno just to take it out. Now, that would have left one inferno and expo up there where hopefully my troops could have came in. Now, let me just give you this sage advice while I can spread out bases like this if you're town hall 11 or 12 take e-drags with you look at all these connecting buildings literally e-drags would have wiped this out in two minutes and 30 seconds with some rages and some freezes on those inferno towers because i'm a dummy and i thought you know what i'm gonna try this really fun style out i really want to do this bat spell thing with the clan castle destroy the clan castle and then yeah whatever you're about to see what happens when the bat spell hits the clan castle all right let's go so wall breaker comes in i'm feeling really good i'm waiting for those archer towers to target onto that and there it goes so I start dropping my bat spells and I realize, okay, I'm probably gonna need to go over here and drop my bat spells pretty quickly. But watch what happens. The bats don't actually target the clan castle, which you would think they would do right there once that expo went down. But they do take out a couple of those other defenses, which I was okay with. So I realized, okay, crap, I can't do that. Um, let me actually go back and play it for you all again real quick here because um, kind of trying to do the dual thing here. Um, so just watch the whole screen. I go back and place more bat spells over by the eagle artillery. So you cannot use bat spell to kill the clan castle because it's not a defense which i i knew it wasn't a defense but for whatever reason in my head i thought i could easily do it you have to bring your skeleton spells so after realizing that i decided okay i'm just gonna drop more of the bat spells over there and be done um and there you go so then uh i had the valks in the clan castle which actually did quite a good job of kind of clearing out some troops and some buildings um, so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to try to funnel my troops up in here to get to the clan castle. I've got my golem, you know, kind of do that thing. These troops over here will probably go right, but the rest of them should go up in. Um, and they kind of did, but they kind of didn't. So, um, for whatever reason, they went into the enclosure and that was their downfall. Like, why would you go into the enclosure? Like, that's stupid. I could have had a two-star had they just followed the golem right in, but they didn't, so whatever. And as you can see, uh, my king started pounding on that inferno. I wanted to rage him up and get him at least not dead from the inferno to at least take that out. I knew he was going to die once he came to this little juncture anyway, but I do hit the Grand Warden trying to make uh, at least a little bit more uh, momentum there. Um, he ends up just barely dying here. Um, you know, it 
wouldn't have made a hill of means of a difference anyway, because all my troops are pathing around the base. So, bases like this, he drags. Trying to kill, kill the clan castle troops? Skeleton spell, not bat spell. So, I might actually upgrade my skeleton spell next because that's one of, I think, like two or three spells that I have left uh, to upgrade. So my bat spell is max, and uh, I've got freeze and skeleton, I believe. And I'll show you guys in a minute here. But basically, I run out of time. Um, they're just kind of trying to break into the walls now. I wish that this AI would be a lot smarter. They could have all worked together. Um, it would have at least saved me a couple seconds. You know, these guys breaking through this wall, they could have at least all worked together. Um, but they didn't, and there you go, I got the one star. So, horrible attack, I even told my clan, I said, look, it's either going to be a really brilliant attack, or it's going to go horribly wrong. <sighs> Sigh, whatever, let's check this out. Um, where is my research lab? It is down here. Uh, for my spells, I just have the, yeah, I have got the freeze, and then I've got the skeleton. So, um... Yeah, I might just do my skeleton spell next. I do have um, two Book of Everythings and a hero, which I'm going to use the hero on my queen in a few hours once that hidden Tesla is done, and I'm going to use the Book of Heroes. So, voila, there you go. Um, so, back to day four. All right, we had some pretty crappy attacks. We had some pretty decent attacks. Um... I do want to show you what's hilarious. So Randy, he really wanted to get in this war. Um, he's a town hall 10 and he's like, he's, he's on a shield for some reason. I don't understand why, but, uh, he, I guess he got sick of getting raided and he's trying to upgrade all of his troops. So I guess he does like some raids, he takes a couple hours off the weak shield, but then he, um, he goes and gets it all of whatever he needs to upgrade. And then he keeps his builders busy. So, that's how he decided to play the game and to each their own but um he came in here he had a really good idea with that siege machine to take out that air d for a minute i didn't think it actually would but literally this attack was within maybe 10 seconds of clan war starting for the day and he was on and he's like hey can i go up to take out this it's got three that i can take two of those air d's out and then use the siege machine and then come in and clean up and as you can tell as a town hall 10 with your drags at five you're gonna just dominate the base and sure enough that's what he did so just kind of forwarding it over um which was a little unfortunate because Icehawk, who is one of our awesome co-leaders and awesome guys he ended up getting stuck with this base down here which is a town hall 8 and he is a town hall 10 but he took one for the team and he leveled this base as well um so anyway clan war it's fun but like i said i feel like we are just a little underwhelmed with being in crystal 2 and yet not advancing and kind of having these like uh, try to get the guys in that want to attack and then we don't win the day and then we basically chopped our chances of going up because of that um it's a little frustrating so i feel like um we've retooled our strategy enough to where we're just going to come in and dominate the next couple days um although we are going up against the number one and number two the next two days um after our day five which i will have a video for you tomorrow of um wolfgar has a very sweet attack in that which i will show you he had a nice three star uh, i think it was our second attack of the day to start us off strong so um there you go Day four in the books, another win. I don't know if you guys gleaned anything from this. If anything, don't use bat spells to try to kill a clan castle. Use your skeleton spells. It also won't lure out the clan castle troops, which is nice. So there you go. That's my two cents. That's all I've got. Until tomorrow, Feldy, peace.